Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for uh, December 2023. We're just going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this storm spirit. It says chaos. You have this moonlight uh, enchantment card that says magic on it. So uh, let's see where this is going. I will say that like everyone's had the tower. So, you know, I don't know if there's going to be like some sort of tower moment this month as always or, you know, what's going on here. So I wouldn't be too worried about the the chaos energy. You could be trying to bring order to chaos, honestly, with the um, temperance card there. Temperance can just represent trying to turn one thing into another and you have this magic card. So it's like maybe you've been experiencing chaos and you're just trying to bring order to chaos, right? You're just trying to uh, create improvements by, um, you know, uh, being more focused. That's what I would say with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, you know, to me, the Eight of Pentacles is a very strong card of focus because he's only working on one thing. He's not working on 900 things. And, you know, I think that could be a very important thing. It's, it, you know, the interesting thing is, is it's almost like a goal that I think you have as well that is what's popping into my head here, Taurus, where, um, you know, if you are doing like a bunch of stuff, it's funny, you have the uh, Three of Cups here with the Three of Pentacles, which would be two cards of, you know, kind of focusing on multiple things. Um, so I feel like if you have a lot going on in your life, like maybe you have multiple jobs or whatever, uh, I kind of see more focus coming in for you. You even have a star. And I love the star because it is a card of like the big picture or getting a bird's eye view on something in your life. And so, you know, it's almost like you're uh, kind of gaining a new perspective in, uh, as far as how you can simplify things in your life, make things a little bit easier with the Eight of Pentacles here, um, or, you know, just bring things into order. And, you know, that's what I'd be doing here. If you do have any chaotic situations, doesn't matter what they are, you know, with the Magic card and the Temperance card, I would be doing whatever you can uh, to use your powers of alchemy. You know, the temperance card is about turning one thing into another, you know, create, uh, basically forming improvements with by using your powers of alchemy, right? And so I feel really you have the power to transform your situation, um, but I feel uh, just most importantly, it's gonna require focus at this time for you, Taurus. So again, you're clearly in a learning period, Eight of Pentacles, it's a card of apprenticeship. So it just says that you're learning how to do something in life. It could be through chaos. It could be through magic. It could be through a combination of both, right? Where you feel like you're super busy and you're doing a lot. And, you know, all this maybe pressure or whatever you're feeling, I feel is trying to push you towards um, making your life more simple or making things better. And, you know, that's what I would say here with the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, you have the Four Cups, a lot of disappointments, um, you know, is what I'm getting here. Four, four Cups doesn't really represent disappointments, but to me, it does. <laughs> to me, he is disappointed. He it has manifested these four cups, but he really hasn't manifested um, what he has wanted. You know, he's kind of like manifested things um, that maybe he doesn't want. But really, you know, I look at him as if he's trying to manifest a cake, it's like he's manifested the ingredients, the flour, the sugar, the eggs. He just needs to mix it all together and pop it in the oven. So, you know, people always ask me like, you know, they'll say like, I'm, I'm trying to manifest money and I started losing money. I'm like, yeah, but you're looking at it from a human perspective. It's like, according to the universe, maybe you have to lose a bunch of money because that's going to be the thing that motivates you to start something else that makes a bunch of money. So it's like, we don't just get to like, you know, I don't think we just like manifest something where it's like, we just think, oh, I want a million dollars and then we get it. It's like, no, we have to follow the steps. And and that's kind of what I'm getting here with the Four of Cups is that, and the Eight of Pentacles as well. I actually feel like you've been following the steps, um, you know, especially with that Eight of Pentacles. It's like you've been going uh, in the direction towards the things that you want. So let's see. Uh, with the Temperance card, you have the Ten of Swords. Yes, something has left your life here. Um, you know, and for some of you, I feel like there's something that you just need to completely let go of with the Temperance card. Temperance can be trying to perfect a situation. He's, you know, again, mixing water in back and forth here, trying to turn water into wine. But this right here is the path to glory, which is like the path to everything he wants in his life. He could just get off on that path. He doesn't need to necessarily fix a current situation. Uh, this is coming up in your past position, by the way. So, you know, for a lot of you, this is probably something that already happened. With the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Wands. Too much work, exactly like I said. <laughs> like, I, I just feel like someone who has, like, four jobs, right? You know, that's, like, my feeling. That was my feeling. I basically said that at the beginning of the reading. I just get this energy of too many responsibilities. It doesn't even matter if you have just one, you know? And maybe you feel like you have four. So, I feel like you have too many things going on. And, and I don't necessarily think this is a bad thing because, again, I really see you, this reading is very simple to me. It just says that you are focusing into one thing or, you know, even if you already only work on one thing that feels like four things, I feel like you are focusing it in on like one thing. That's what the star really says. And, you know, again, to work with star energy, that's exactly what I would be doing here. 
Uh, with the four cups, you have the four swords. Yeah, I think you have taken some time to rest, relax, recover, which is probably a good thing. I also feel like you could be taking more time to rest, relax, recover in December. And I think that'd be great. You know, before the new year, you kind of just take some time for yourself. And that could bring in more blessings. Again, when we work with the energy, um, you know, we get the blessings and the four of swords can represent blessings. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this lighthouse card. It says, when the seas are rough, search for the light. It says, light worker, star is your first card there. You have the shark. It says, be careful, proceed with caution. Yeah, I feel like you need to focus on the light. I think we all need to focus on the light right now. Like focus on the things that bring light, love, joy, happiness into our lives. And uh, that's the only thing we need to focus on in the rough seas. I've been saying for years, two years now, that we're in a time of chaos. Um, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. And we just need to make the best of it. So, you know, I believe that we need to, you know, bring more joy, happiness, and love, as I say to everybody, into the world. Because that's the only way we're going to change the world. So, you know, that's what I would be focusing on here. And, um, you know, again, I would focus on the star. The star is you focusing on what you can do to inspire other people. Again, I think the most spiritual thing we can do over the next 20 years with Pluto going into Aquarius is be an inspiration to other people. And the more you uh, do that, the better your, li your life will be. But not only that, like the people around you, the better their life is, the better your life is. And it just, you know, kind of creates this, you know, positive feedback loop. And we need a lot more of that. So, you know, that's why I encourage people to, you know, create this good stuff in the world. Uh, I feel like you're very focused on the big picture. So, you know, the star is a big picture card. There's this ibis back here in this tree, and it represents just seeing the big picture. So I kind of feel, you know, but it doesn't, it really doesn't mean anything. It just means that you are, maybe you're seeing the big picture of your life and you could just be gaining a perspective. I feel that the perspective you're gaining is that you need to leave a comfort zone. You have the two of wands here. Uh, two of wands about leaving a comfort zone. He's got this wand in one hand and he's got the world in the other hand. So he needs to get out into the world and go have new experiences or he needs to kind of like go do new things with his life. You know, that wand behind him, it stands on its own. You know, it's something that no longer needs his support. So he has, he's reaching forward to something new that he does need to support. So the two of wands is all about like starting something new, taking the lead in your life and making something happen. Uh, it could be something that is a dream. You have the page of cups and the page of cups has this fish right here in this cup. And, you know, I always say he needs to grab onto that fish. It's that fish is something that he needs to manifest. It's something that he needs to make happen in his life. And, you know, it could be love. Sure. There could be love here. I do feel like there could be someone who finds you attractive going this way. But, you know, is this really a love reading? I would say no. You know, I think, of course, love is always available to us, of course. But, you know, really, I feel this is you um, manifesting some sort of dream life into into your life. <laughs> Everybody seems to be focused on that this month. Uh, you know, several other signs have had something similar. Kind of makes sense to me. You know, I think before the new year, everybody starts dreaming of, you know, what they want their next year to be like. So, you know, again, it kind of makes sense. But, you know, I feel for a lot of you, there are some things that you're dreaming of that you would like to create. These are more like things that you've been trying to manifest. Um, and I'm not necessarily saying manifest as in law of attraction. These are things that maybe you've just been working towards, certain goals, wishes, dreams, and you're trying to make them a reality. With the star, what do you know? You have the sun, fame and fortune. Uh, love it. <laughs> Definitely very positive. This could be like attention rushing in very quickly. And uh, But I feel like you have to put in the work. Um, you know, didn't I say this to you in your last reading? It's like, I get this feeling for you, Taurus, where it's like if you actually put the work into one thing, I feel like you would see that you're, like maybe you think that you're at the same level as other people. I swear I just said this to you. And it's like your, you know, the amount of effort you put in is like worth this much. Everybody else is like worth this much. But, you know, I, I feel like that's true for those of you that are worried about competition. Like maybe you wanna start a YouTube channel or maybe you wanna start a business or maybe you're interested in a person. It's like, I feel like what you don't realize is that like you're up here and the competition is down here. And again, not a criticism. Someone always says, how dare you say that other people are down here? I'm like, get over yourself, please get off the channel, right? But what I would say here is like, just sometimes, sometimes people are better, right? Sorry get over it. But what I would say here is it's like your effort is worth more and everybody else's is worth less. How dare you, right? With the uh, two, two of wands, you have the eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles says uh, work hard, play hard, as well as, you know, put in the work. You're clearly putting in effort into something here and you're, you're uh, getting some sort of rewards for it. Eight of Pentacles to me is like material success on the horizon. So it says whatever you're working on, you are getting success. You will, you will be finding success in the near future. 
with the Page of Cups, you have the Wheel of Fortune. It's giving me second chance vibes. Like if you have, if you kind of like, I don't know, I have like a weird story popping into my head of like, you know, going on a date with a person, it doesn't go anywhere. And then it, all of a sudden you get a second chance. I don't think this is an X or anything. I think that for those of you that will res resonate with this, um, you know, I really feel this is kind of like a person where it just never really went anywhere, but now it is. Um, for others, it's like maybe you feel like you missed out on an opportunity with a person, but it's kind of coming back around. Again, it doesn't feel like an ex to me. It just feels like one of those things where, you know, something didn't take off, but now things are happening, you know, where this can happen. So there you go. Could definitely be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. You always get fixed signs with me, which is weird. I mean, you are a fixed sign. And, you know, um, you know, people always say fixed signs don't do well together. But my, my parents have been married for like 30-something years. And they're two fixed signs. They're uh, Taurus and Leo. So, And I know so many people that are. So, you know, um, what I would say is, I don't know if it works, it works. Who cares, right? Could be any sign. General reading. Uh, next, in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this Mercury card that says message on it. You have this Moon card that says perception on it. I feel like you're gaining, um, you know, perception, per you know, seems to be an, an end. The word perspective keep coming up in these monthly readings as well for the month of December. So it seems to me like we could be, you know, there could be a huge perspective shift and, and or perception shift. You know, I, I realize that those two things are very similar. What I will tell you is this right here is the three of pentacles. You know, sometimes I look at the three of pentacles as looking at the same thing, but different. <laughs> you know, they are, if you have two people and you put them on either side of a statue and they're both like looking at the statue like this right here, they're looking at the three pentacles from two different perspectives. One guy's over here, the other two people over here. And, you know, it's like they're looking at the same thing, but they might be seeing something different, you know? And so I feel for a lot of you that kind of looking at things from a new perspective, it's like you could be looking at the same thing from a different angle, and that could be leading to a lot of success for you, I feel. So, you know, um, and again, I've never had so many readings where like the hangman comes up a lot. You don't have it, but you have this card and this perception card, you know, it has been coming up a lot for the monthly readings in December. And so I really feel we're in a time where if something isn't working, especially if you're working towards a goal, wish, or dream right here, something that could bring, that you really want attention on or something that could bring you a lot of attention, I feel just looking at things from a different perspective will kind of lead to success. Uh, you have the Knight of Swords here. It's like, I'm getting like jumping to conclusions. Again, if you are getting a second chance, it might not even be with a person. It's like, maybe you thought your business wasn't gonna work and it actually is. Or maybe you thought you, you know, needed to, you know, buy a new car, but you actually don't need to or something like that. I don't know. It's something like that is popping into my head with this Knight of Swords. I feel like that you're, it's almost like, you're, you were maybe getting a little ahead of yourself and that could be the thing that is creating this second chance type of energy that I'm getting off of the reading where it's, it's not really a second chance. I think that the thing that's bringing the second chance is a perspective change is the fact that you're seeing like, oh, maybe I jumped to conclusions or maybe I reacted too quickly. And it's like now something is coming back around. I even see it here, three cups. Three of Cups can be a reunion, but I, again, I think it's just a perspective change. There's three people. And so two threes like this definitely says that this perspective change could be coming from another person. Uh, you could be getting like wise counsel from a mentor or a guide or, you know, from a person you look up to like a parent or an authority figure. I definitely get that vibe here. So if you're struggling to complete something or if you're struggling to, you know, manifest your business or create whatever you're trying to create here, um, I actually feel you're going to be able to do it. What Like whatever it is you're trying to do here. Uh, let's see. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Strength card. Uh, Leo here, by the way, um, but Strength is a card of patience. I almost get the feeling though that you've been too patient. You know, I feel like the universe is like saying, okay, like, you've done all the behind the scenes work that you can do. Um, you know, especially for those of you that are working towards something financial. I feel this is saying like, now is the time to like start getting down and dirty and, <laughs> you know, just put putting stuff out there, right? Just get it out there. Uh, with the uh, Knight of Swords, you have the moon. All right, like, are you kidding? Um, definitely a perspective shift. You go from the sun and the star to the moon. These are opposite energies, the moon and the sun. And, you know, this really tells me that maybe you saw something as a moon when it was really the sun, you know, or something like that. I don't know, I can't get away from that story. It keeps popping into my head in this reading. So it's like, you saw something one way, and but it's really another way. And it's funny, because I mean, temperance, temperance is seeing one, something one way, but needing to see it another. Literally the solution for the temperance card is, you know, to, um, is to basically try something new or to transform a situation. Use your powers of alchemy to turn one thing into another. With the three of cups, you have the six of cups. Are you kidding? Like I said, reunion. There's some sort of second chance here. Is This is definitely a second chance reading for sure. You literally have three second chance cards right here. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, six of cups. 
in the Three of Cups. Um, you know, again, I do not think this is someone coming back from the past. I feel like it's a second chance where something never really got off the ground. And now it is. And it do, it really doesn't even look like love for most of you. I mean, it could be. Take it how it resonates. But, you know, I think for most of you, this is something that is part of your attention. You know, we're in a time of attention because of Pluto and Aquarius. And even though, you know, it's going to retrograde back into Capricorn, it's going to move officially into Aquarius next year, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, we're in a time where I believe we need to get as much attention as we can on the things that we care about. Uh, you have this the office card. It says delegation more uh, delegating more uh, can help you increase your earnings. I do feel you know again a lot of work. We were talking about this at the beginning of the reading, and you have a lot of people showing up here. The two threes, so I feel delegation would be a great idea. Uh, you have this card that says you will be a great success, but you will have to go through it to get there. There's a lesson to be learned. I feel like you learned the lesson. Ten of Swords. This is coming up in the good stuff, and so you know I kind of feel like you've learned the lesson. You have this card that says don't lose yourself trying to hold on to someone. Yes, I feel if you're trying to hold on to anything, I would definitely let it go. But you have the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Wands is about being bold, being assertive, really going for what you want. She also goes towards the sun. Everybody gets a Queen of Sword, Queen of Wands, sorry, <laughs> with me. And I always say that sun is, I mean, that sunflower is pointing towards the sun. I really think that you know, it's like the only thing we need to focus on right now. I could probably get on here and just do one reading for the rest of the year. It, you know, I believe we just need to move towards joy, happy, happiness, abundance. <laughs> I can't even talk now. And things that create that in our lives. And if we do that, we will be successful. Uh, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Again, Knight of Pentacles is showing up in the good stuff. So I feel that the Knight of Pentacles is saying you're making progress towards your goals. You're making progress towards the things that you are trying to create. Uh, in the area of the good stuff, to me, he just represents progress. You also have the Seven of Pentacles. I really feel your, you know, I, the words I'm getting are like your circumstances are changing. <coughs> Excuse me. Or something like that, you know. Seven of Pentacles is a change in direction. He's looking at those Seven Pentacles and he's saying, is the juice worth the squeeze? It's like something isn't worth it any longer, you know, in your life. Maybe something you're putting energy into or the way that you're doing things. So again, a lot of transformative energy in this reading as well. But let's see. With the Queen of Wands, you have the Eight of Cups, walking away from things that no longer serve you. It's coming up in the good stuff, which tells me you are definitely walking towards fulfillment. Uh, for some of you, again, you could be, you know, attracting a person here. It could be a fire sign or something. Uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, you have the world. The world is an accomplishment, of course. So I feel like you are, you could be moving towards new accomplishments or you could be working on some sort of, um, you know, accomplishment here. Uh, I don't really feel completion energy. Normally I do because the world really is a card of completion, but I feel you're working towards the world with the Knight of Pentacles. You are working towards like creating your own world or creating, you know, whatever it is that you want in the world. And that seems to be more the focus here, I would say, but really good reading. With the Seven of Pentacles, you have the King of Pentacles, you, showing up in a very strong position. Kind of just tells me that the reading is all about you. <laughs> you know, I, I really do think this reading is all about you. I don't think it's like about love or anything else necessarily. Like, I think those could be elements within it. But, you know, I feel this reading is saying that it would be a great month for you to focus on like your own stability, your own the, your own success, the things that you want to make successful and, you know, all that other good stuff. Uh, you have this barrel card that says, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. I do feel like something is lacking, four cups. I mean, you know, like I said, you, there's something you want to create. I feel like it needs to be mixed together. So like whatever it is, <laughs> I feel like you need to realize that it's like you actually do have manifested something you want, but it, it's like there needs to be energy put into it. Or, you know, it's like, I feel like saying not enough has been done, you know? And I'm not calling you out or anything like that, Taurus, but it's like, if you want love, it's like maybe there is a person that you're interested in or they're interested in you, but it's like, I feel like more needs to be done, like maybe more flirting, more talking, more whatever. And uh, you have this carriage card. It says a journey, either physical or mental. Um, wouldn't surprise me if you were traveling. You have the world here, Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, progress. So if you're traveling, this could be like a lot of progress. You have this lightning card that says, control your anger or you will be sorry. Yes, definitely control your emotions. Uh, you have the scales card that says, keep your life in balance. Every single person has had either this card, by the way, or, um, you know, all these decks that I use have something about balance. So, and you have the temperance card. So I would definitely keep things in balance. I would like do like the, the you know, what do they call it? Like the minimal, minimum viable product, the, you know, the MVP. I, like I've been preaching this to you forever that, you know, if I were a Taurus um, and I'm not, but I'm basically a Capricorn, right? <laughs> uh, if, I, you know, I, this is all I focus on is like, I, I try to keep things as simple as possible. Now I overcomplicate everything. I'm a crazy Gemini moon, right? So it's like this year, I've literally been like forcing myself to do like the most simple thing 
things possible, like easy, you know? It's not even about being easy. It's just about like, don't overcomplicate things. Like try, as a professional overcomplicator, I totally get it. You have this uh, bouquet card. It says compliments from an admirer. Yes. See, I feel like there needs to be flirting here. There's like a person that's interested in you. It could be another fixed sign for whatever reason. You know, it could be any sign, general reading, but it's almost like a second chance and there needs to be more flirting, more communication, more something here uh, as well. And, you know, that's really what I get here. So really good reading. I like where this is going for you, Doris. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.